Ready or not, here comes 2024. You may be looking for a new hobby or wanting to join a special interest group in the new year. Well, have you ever thought about beekeeping? No. Hmm. The local teen is showing us how you can get involved and how crucial bees are to our everyday lives. This busy bee is 17-year-old Miranda Clementel. She says it was a neighbor who got her interested in beekeeping. I was very interested on what all these flying insects were and these white boxes and I was just eight years old so I just started with just asking some simple questions and I just fell in love with it. Now she's got two beehives in her own backyard. My mom was automatically really afraid and she didn't want me to have bees and I had to kind of beg her a little bit too but finally she came around. Before cracking open the hives we need to suit up for a bit of protection. Did we just put these on? Yes, correct. And then we'll put our oh. gloves on. Oh. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> How many yeah. times would you say you've been stung? I've gone and stung a lot. <laughs> Probably definitely over a hundred stings. Oh. So this is the top and it's known as the honey super. This frame here, I'm trying to point some things out to you. Yep. So that is known as capped honey and then over here, Right down here, you can see this liquid, and it's uncapped honey, and it's known as, that's at this point, it's nectar. So once a beekeeper sees that a frame is about 75% full of capped honey, then beekeepers will pull the frame, and they will go ahead and they will extract it. Bees are a critical part of life. We rely on these tiny little insects so much for our food production. Pollinating $15 billion worth of crops in the U.S. each year, according to the USDA, including more than 130 types of fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Without honeybees, coffee would be so much harder for us to get our hands on. It would be so much more expensive and rare to get because coffee, the, the crop, it relies heavily on honeybee pollination as well. Clementel says a healthy hive can hold about 80,000 honeybees but there's only one queen bee. There she is, right there in the middle. She's beautiful. Her abdomen and part of her body is a lot longer compared to all the other bees. Even though it seems Clementel knows just about everything when it comes to bees, she says there's still so much to learn. Getting to better understand them through like science and studying them in labs is probably a big motivation, as well as just being part of perhaps one day the commercial industry where I can have thousands of colonies and really contribute you go, girl. Mm -hmm. Miranda is part of the Orange Blossom Beekeepers Association, even served as president. It's open to all ages and experiences, and they meet every month and hold workshops in Orange County. I posted more details on clickorlando.com slash insider. I'm imagining that some of the stocking stuffers probably included honey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does have honey, and it's really delicious. So mm. it's just interesting how it started at such a young age. I thought it was her parents who were interested. She said, no, mom and dad were not interested. It was her. From eight years old, you know, now she's grown teenager and she's still really involved and has mentors through that association. So really cool. Yeah.